My name is Marion Landry and I'm the Technical Marketing Specialist for 3ds Max Design. This series of tips and tricks will help you understand the basic workflow of 3ds Max Design and the similarities and differences it has with AutoCAD. Although these tips and tricks have been built with the AutoCAD user in mind, it also applies to anybody who is new to 3ds Max Design. Let's get started! After file linking or importing your first 3D model in 3ds Max Design, one of the first questions you might have is where do I find a list of the objects in my scene? Or how do I select my objects other than clicking on it in the viewport? Selecting one or multiple objects from your scene is one of the most used commands. So let's make this process easy and look at the options available. Because in 3ds Max Design there is always multiple ways to do things, you can find the one that works for you. The obvious way is to use the selection tool located in the main toolbar by clicking on the object you want to select directly in the viewport. Using the shift button will allow you to select multiple objects and alt button to unselect objects that are already selected. You can also draw a rectangle around specific object by clicking and dragging the mouse. In most software, this type of rectangle selection option is pretty standard. But in 3ds Max Design, you can also have option to change the rectangle selection to a circular, fence, lasso, or airbrush, giving you even more flexibility. Now, if you want to select object from a list of all the objects in your scene, you will want to use the Select by Name tool. You will find this icon conveniently located in the main toolbar. This is the tool I use the most myself. In this window, you will find the list of all objects in your scene. Notice that they are named exactly how they were in AutoCAD since 3ds Max Design recognized the naming of the imports or file linked objects. The naming convention might vary depending on the import or file link preset. In this case, I use the default file linking presets to derive the AutoCAD primitives by layer, blocks as node hierarchy, or split by material. Therefore, my objects are named after their AutoCAD layers. In the Select by Name window, you can organize the objects alphabetically by clicking on the column title. You will notice that there are a few other columns that are by default aimed to help the Revit user, but you can replace, remove, and add more columns. Right-clicking on the column name will give you a list of options such as has material, for example. This column will show you all the objects in your scene that have material or not. So you can really customize the selection window to your need. The other tool you will use in this window is the display filter option. Right now, all objects are showing since all my display filter are on. But if I select the display none and only activate the camera filter, only the cameras in my scene will be listed. These filters will help tremendously when you have a really large scene or you're trying to get to certain objects really quickly. You can type in the name of the objects you're looking for or use the selection sets. Right now, I don't have a selection set, but let's create one so you understand what they are and their use. I will select few objects from the list. For example, I know that the pavement around my pavilion is composed of three different objects named Flooring and Flooring 2. It will be very helpful to be able to select these three objects quickly in one action. So I will create a selection set. With these three objects selected, I type a name in the selection set box. This will create a selection set composed of these three objects. Now I have a selection set that I can use every time I need these three objects. Selection set will be very useful to access series of objects that might be difficult to select directly from the viewport or that get lost in a long list of objects with similar names. The other way to navigate all objects in your scene is using the Scene Explorer window that was added in the 2010 release version of 3ds Max Design. The Scene Explorer is similar from the Select by Name window but offers you more versatility. Since its goal is not to select an object per se, this window can stay open permanently, helping you to navigate your scene at any time. You can choose to open the Scene Explorer as a floating window or include it in one of your viewport quadrant by going to the Viewport Label menu and choose Scene Explorer. You will notice that you can create a variety of Scene Explorer depending on your needs. For example, one of your Scene Explorer could be focusing on lights, where another could be focused on objects. 
For now, let's focus on the default one and as your knowledge progress with 3ds Max design, you might feel the need to start customizing your Scene Explorer. The Scene Explorer allows you to customize your columns, use the Display Filters option, use the Selection Set and find your objects by name the same way you could do in a Select by Name window. But the main difference is that you can actually manage content here. By right-clicking on one or multiple objects, you have access to a menu that will allow you to do fast commands such as selecting your object in a scene, deleting, grouping, renaming, and such. Some people prefer using the Scene Explorer, while others prefer using the Select by Name tool. One thing for sure is that 3ds Max Design offers you multiple ways to do the same action. So find your own and become comfortable with it and you will see that you can achieve your task much faster.